And to know from the Portuguese capital, this is the scene here in Lisbon at the home of Sporting. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And gearing up for this pulsating Liga Portugal match, it's Sporting up against Benfica. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Here's the lineup for Sporting. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill, and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Benfica. Joao Mario starts with Julian Draxler on the flanks. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And so the match is underway. Morita. Now with Edwards. Will he play it in? And out of play for a sporting throw in. Corner coming up. Now sending it in. And the danger still on. So for Benfica, you have to conclude everything went to plan in their win against FC Porto. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Yes, I thought it was a good 1-0 win in front of their own fans. Today, though, I think it'll be totally different. They'll struggle to get possession, and as a result, we'll probably get nothing from the game. Well, here's the table, Stuart, and it's fair to conclude that the hosts have had a pretty dismal time of things. Well, things just don't... Oh, a goal! They strike first, and what a way to silence the crowd! Well, it's the perfect finish, isn't it? As you can see, you can't place it better than that, can you? And back underway, 1-0 it is. Morita. And that was a very fine read. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Manuel Ugarte takes the shot. Rafa Terrific block That is not going to do Well wide of the target Well they've won themselves a corner And a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security
Who can he pick out? The chance is on. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Still not clear. Joao Mario laid into the centre. Not really the ideal clearance. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Grimaldo. Draxler. Rafa. Now with Draxler. And Joao Mario in the centre. And still danger here. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Well, that save has kept him in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Chermiti. St. Justa. Possession lost, intercepted. Well, as you can see, Benfica haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, have they? But their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Yes, and maybe another break brewing here. And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved the yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Difficult to stop him. Sporting in search of an equaliser have won themselves a corner. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? And over comes the corner. And he's clear as lines. Can he finish? Determined block. It's a perfect challenge. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, as so often is the case, Gonzalo Gedge, very hard to contain in the first half. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, I thought he had a really effective foot. And this confrontation is underway. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. astute piece of defending Grimaldo Otamendi has it Chitinho Rafa he takes aim the body in the way Bar Can they make one of these passes count? And intercepts again. Well, harried into losing the ball. Really effective pressing. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Manuel Ugarte.
Pedro Gonzalves. Chance to cross. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Can he find the angle? Well, he took care of it defensively. And play halted, free kick given. Here it is now, a substitution. Grimaldo on the ball Florentino an important interception well no surprise there the hosts have enjoyed most of the possession but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far there's been too many safe passes and no real penetration they certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one Escaio And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Oh, great piece of individual skill. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Read it well. Manuel Ugarte. Well, this game ebbing away and the visitors on course to eke out a narrow victory. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point and I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Hector Bellerin. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Morita, Manuel Ugarte. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Rafa. On the ball, Florentino. Gonzalo Gedge. Ba. Clattered away. No foul play, says the referee. Substitution time it is here. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And so the final whistle here, the visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, one man who was very difficult to contain out there, Gonzalo Gedge, sum up what you saw from him. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.